Problem 21. A right triangle is shown. Which angle measures closest to the value of x? So we want this angle measurement here. This is across from the 8. Okay. Hmm. Well, I know if that's 90 and this is almost 8, I'm thinking, oh, 45 and 40. If that were 8 and 8, 45, 45, 90, because they'd be the same. That's a little smaller. This is bigger, so I know that's a little more than 45. So right away, I could take those out, but I don't know whether it's C or D. So I have to be thinking, hmm, what do I know? Right triangle, right triangle, Pythagorean theorem. That'll tell me this length here. That's not going to do me any good. I need an angle measurement. Angles. Angles with right triangles. Wait, some old hippie caught another hippie tripping on at it. Crazy. We don't like this, but that's what it is. It's got to be a Sokotoa problem. So, hmm, what I have is I have theta here in a right triangle. Okay, across from this, this is going to be my hypotenuse. That over there is going to be my opposite. And this right here is going to be my adjacent. So I have opposite and adjacent. Well, that's the tangent function. So the tangent of theta is equal to opposite 8 over the adjacent 7.8. Huh. So now to get theta, i got to take the inverse tangent of both sides. Whenever we're trying to find an angle, we're going to always have to end up using the inverse tangent or inverse sine or inverse cosine. You've got to use that inverse button. When I do that, <clears throat> excuse me, theta is coming out to be 45.7 degrees. That's a tough problem because you're looking at that and you're like, well, how am I supposed to get this? I think we're going to use Pythagorean theorem. But remember, if we're finding an angle, it's got to be something with old Sokotoa. Some old hippie caught another hippie tripping on acid. We've got to use that little mnemonic device to help us know, oh, it's going to be sine, cosine, or tangent. And in this case, we had to use the tangent to find that angle. A little tricky because we're so used to theta being put there instead of a variable x. But we need to remember what we were taught for problem 21. We will have an answer of Mr. C.